Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. This is my Texas Ebony. And for those of you who watch the channel, you may know that I was trying to regrow the roots a little bit higher up. This had a really, really ugly root base that you could see through. They had wrapped roots around when it was very young and it was just horrible. So I've, I've taken a little peek and there are roots all in here. So this was a mixture of sphagnum moss, fines, bonsai soil fines, and that was, and water. So I've got to see if these roots are being generated from the cut point. I'm very excited and very scared. Let me uh, set this up better for what I'm about to do and we'll get going on it. All right, I believe this tree is wired into this pot. It is. I'm going to cut that wire now. So it doesn't get in the way later. Now I'm going to take this collar off. I think I did this in July of last year and I said I would wait a year. I just can't wait anymore. Oh, that is just beautiful. I'm going to cry. Look at that. Ah. All right, so the sphagnum moss finds. I've got to start combing that out. I think I've got to get it out of the pot. Mm -hmm. This has thorns, and I got to cut this. I got to cut this open. So this is a ground layering that was successful. you're considering doing a ground layer and are afraid to move forward, just know so was I. All right, so I think I have to try and get it out of the pot. Now, hopefully the original set of roots is uh, is dead or dying. The new ones are beautiful. It'll take me a while to sort them out. up over here. Okay. Oh, I am beyond thrilled. I want to use that same pot, but just plant the tree a little lower down. I should be able to do that. Here's where I want to be really careful. Because the new root base is not that far below this And it's sphagnum moss, so I'm expecting this to be a long, drawn-out process. 
So I will go into I will go into uh, time lapse so as not to lose my audience. Okay, I've put a little wet sphagnum moss on the bottom of the pot. I didn't show you the whole root extraction, but here it is. This black wood, probably where it gets its name, quite, quite hard to get through. I use the ratcheting pruners at the end and they struggled. That's the first time I've seen that happen. So that is some tough, tough, tough wood. And those are my ironwood pruners. So be careful with the heartwood. It's like steel, it's like steel. All right, so let me get a base layer of soil in the pot. It's not going to be much. It's not going to be much holding this tree in. So I'm going to rely on stones. I'm not going to tie it in this time. I'm going to bury it deeper. than I would. In a round pot, I'm not worried about the front. I'm not gonna move this tree outside. So it won't succumb to wind. may have to get creative about supporting it, but I really don't want to tie it in. So I've got the Texas Ebony in a tray of water. It's solid in the pot. Thanks in part to, well, thanks exclusively to this rock that's sitting here. The bark is incredibly craggy. I'll work on that gin. I'm also going to spend some time pruning away the long extensions starting to get late so it's closing up it's also probably a little in shock so this repot 
came with a significant amount of worry. I was uh, skeptical about the amount of roots that I was moving forward with. And in my excitement, I moved forward. So all I've got now is hope on my side and the rest of the summer in the greenhouse. Thanks for keeping me company in my backyard.